What's up guys? This is the Riveman and I am back to bring you to the next episode of my Empire Dead War. Let's play as the Kingdom of Mysore and in this episode we are facing off against my old enemy, not the United Provinces naval battles. We've got an enemy second rate, an enemy third rate, ship of the line which I would like to take into my service, everything else, actually even the fifths maybe, but the brigs and the war galleons will be sold. Um, I am under no illusions that I'm going to get through this battle unscathed. Um, but you know, got to give it a shot. So I've got much more, I've got a large number of lower power ships compared to my adversary. So let's get everyone into their line. Form up. Yeah, who have we got leading the enemy charge? We've got War Galleon, there's the second and third rate ships of the line. Yeah, the idea would be to try to capture them as well as we can. The fifth rates and some would be useful additional captures, but we aren't overly fussed about whether or not we get them or not. If they if they die, then they die. I didn't want my Admiral up front, but he has to kind of be in the thick of it because they do have. He is packing a, a second rate ship of the line. Let's let the enemy get a bit closer. Let's have some of their lighter ships are you know, leaving their heavier ships behind, which is okay. It may tie us up in some fighting and damage our heavier ships earlier than we would like but that's okay eventually I reckon they will head towards us then swing southward in which case we will also head southward although I may bring my line forward a little bit because it looked like they were trying to get over in front of the head of my line but to be honest where we are we are ripe to begin engaging without too much risk. As the heavy frigate gets closer, we can be a bit more targeted. It's a ship aiming at the brig at long range. Starting to engage some of our smaller ships. 48 guns, not inconsiderate. Inconsiderable. Get my second to blast a good volley of chain shot into her masts. I just managed to lose control of this ship's broadside. Everyone else. Give them orders to keep pushing up behind our front line here. It's a mast down on the second rate ship of the line. So now you can hammer round shot in at will into Starenberg. You may actually fire a chain because you might better get two shot two ships with the price of one here. Fire at will. There you go. Starenberg's lost forward mast. Let's push you ahead to get ready to engage Walkerin. Walkerin, Walkerin. And you can continue to engage Starenberg. Just keep hammering broadsides in. But this third rate ship of the line can also carry on doing that. We'll direct some of our faster ships to support my second rate ship of the line. Yeah. 
Brig has surrendered. Just keep blasting him with broadside after broadside. Problematic. You may have to go chain just to try and take out one of her sails and continue your course. Keep focusing on pounding the heavy frigate. Fifth rate, just running rings around us. Blast your broadside, even though it's mostly a miss. And pivot to get ready to engage some of these other ships that are going to be heading our way. There we go, we took out fifth rate's mast slow them down somewhat. I'd really like to knock out that war galleon's mast, but maybe before the rich ship of the line may achieve it. We've got their second rate ship of the line heading in. Okay, let's try and bring my second rate into the action. We can leave a fourth rate to keep engaging their fifth rate. I have to try and go into that sort of position. Accidentally got you firing grape shot. Are you engaging? You're engaging a second rate ship of the line at extended range. This is where we're going to start to get some grief from the heavier ships. Come on, we need to finish off this. Finish off this ship. Routing, concerned, dismasted, switch to round shot. You have got to pivot and start hammering this third rate ship of the line with canister sh with a chain shot, all of you, because she is sailing into perfect position. We need to take out her mast. The main mast is gone. You sail on ahead, ready to blast her with a broadside. You don't have much choice. You pivot, get ready to engage the second rate ship of the line. You board the war galleon. This is going to get ugly.
You might even fire canister shot because of this mast is still at full sail. Try and book it. You drop anchor, keep pummeling them with canister shot, with chain shot. You're going to have to go toe to toe with her. She's lost her foremast. So you might blast canister shot into Texel. Damn it. Reload. Hayes wind is on fire. And routing. Some of these ships need to pivot. Not be happy. You're not happy one bit. Excellent. Switch to chain shot for half moon. She is going to blast right through my formation. You haven't fired yet, so I'm so obsessed of knocking out masts because I'm aware that we have to rely on our mobility. There goes our main mast. This ship pivot. Yep, half moon. Oh, this ship has come back from fighting. Really quite dangerous. Broadside left ready. Keep hammering her masts. Okay, you've decided to fix the error of your ways. Pull the broadside into a hulk. that ship okay, everyone keep blasting the secondary broadside fire reload managed to miss one here keep sailing at top speed Might be able to get a good shot into the. Got a fire. Fire. Keep pummeling ships into Walkerin. Pummeling its shots into Walkerin. You have just got to keep blasting broadsides into it because you've got no other option. So we're firing a rolling broadside in the back of Liu. You're still hitting Malkarin. Cut ahead in front of her. In front of the second ray, that's slower down. Q 
keep holding my broadside. Keep on pivoting, sir. Do not engage. Fire! Oh, I thought a foremast was going down for a second there. Get ready with your starboard battery. Coming in close. Oh, you came back. There we go, Delu has lost her last mast. Keep engaging. If this ship surrenders, it'd be perfect. to hammer so you are gonna hit oh <laughs> wrong shot I actually hit my own chip with that one nice Quick fire your starboard battery Ham her with your starboard battery. You need to hammer this fifth rate, which does not want to surrender. You need to hold position, to be honest, and just pound her. You need to cut across here and fire into her stern. She's still dangerous. Don't route, don't route. Okay, good. You can fire chain to try and get over all of these wrecks. Just keep going, try and knock out one of her last masts. To her. You're also engaging fifth rate. It's just come at cost, as I knew it would. It started to get messy. Try to get ahead of her if you can. Try to get around ahead of Valkyrin. You get back to firing round shot so you can engage automatically at someone. To be honest, you've got 100 crew left, you've got 157. Let's try to give you an order to attack. I'll try and get my fourth rate ahead of the second. Pummeling the wreck of one of my ships. Finally wavering. She's allegedly routing, but we're going to sail, cut across her with a full three, try and knock out her other mast, or one of her other masts, to make sure that she doesn't go anywhere. Almost is gone.
keep engaging. Valkyrin is routing. I'm going to continue just because I want to make sure we don't lose. I want to try and capture the second rate. She surrendered. Go after Valkyrin. I think you're probably my fastest ship. Although you're sailing in an awkward direction. You're probably going to switch to round shot. There you go. Sail parallel to her position. There we go. Just keep hammering her. You can reload and fire at will as you like. Looks like she surrendered or sinking. Awesome. Awesome, awesome, awesome. So we're going to take the war galleon. Not take the heavy frigate. We're going to take the fifth rate. Not take the brig. Take the second rate. Take the third rate. And not the rosé. Good. Blub, 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 blub. Excellent. Get back to port for repairs. Repairs and potentially reinforcements. Good stuff. Okay. So. Pushing on Naples. You're advancing towards Tripoli. Make sure you're reinforced. Let's. Oh no, you're waiting for these yes, guns, sir. aren't you? So you're not going to go anywhere. But you can. Yes. Embark aboard your ship. Because you've got to bear in mind, the United Provinces have had a long time to build up their strength on the Italian peninsula. So I think we're going to come across some... We're going to come across a reasonable chunk of enemy troops. So pushing with one army might make sense for now. Actually, you can attack the city. Okay, so immediately it's exposed an army behind the line. So we're not going to do anything with that yet. What I want to do yes, is just check that my lines are appropriate. Because if we are going to do this, then the attack in Italy is our currently our main threat accepting the fact that we can manage these threats with from a naval perspective three armies should be enough let's take this jebek and go and raid oh that's Ge georgian or genoan go raid some united provinces ports oh okay yes troops is something they've got a lot of so uh yeah these raids or well, those raids are going to be quite important to keep drawing away some of their forces but what we're probably going to want to do if that's going to be our main attack force and actually you can see they've got another army here in rome with support if these three armies are going to be our main attack then we are probably going to want to keep a steady flow of reinforcements. Because if they're like... Well, this is kind of assuming they're like my other colonial possessions in that we don't actually get to recruit everything we'd like. We get a subset of what we can recruit. Actually, no. In our colonies, we can't recruit anything useful. It's only... Um, it's only like militia and second-rate troops so yeah, four might be good enough we've still got a strong presence here in turkey but what we probably want to do is make sure we're still up on our attacks you're gonna go over to the italian front that's for sure you're a sloop i made way with so as we're, we're recruiting all of these 
garrison units. Let's pick another general. Because we're going to really need to make use of an artillery advantage. So let's try and recruit an army that's more for... It's more of a battlefield army, but then again, we're still going to be limited based on our... Based on our uh, recruitment capabilities. Just a second, guys. I need to quickly nip nip away for a second. And I'm back. Uh, right. Let's just keep... Keep the recruitment going. But we need... Yeah, we just need to be careful. Let's get a horseman. Nayadi. Sipahi. Great gun. 24 pounders. Mortars aren't... Eh, we still want to experiment with them. But I do want... Actually, one thing that should be worth tr tracking down, actually, is making sure we get the... Oh, no, we can't get rockets because we don't have the rocket technology. Perfect. That was going to be another plan. Help break in some of these cities without resorting to human wave tactics, but human wave tactics it is. So I think my other back not backup plan exactly, but my plan to say, right, okay, these towns like Baghdad. Yeah, you got to get involved. A lot more than you might like. Even that means we've got some fairly bland army structures coming out of these cities. Uh, I can't really afford to not utilise them in a time of war. But we are going to attack Naples. Destroy this garrison, plus degrade and damage this reinforcing army that's going to come in and help them out. So we're going to take Naples. We're going to reinforce it. We're going to fortify it. Importantly, fortifications are going to be very, very, very fundamental to our strategy here. And try and engage the Ottomans in an, in an attritional war. Because we've got more... I think we'll be able to outproduce them in the long run. But I think trying to push up in this theatre will be incredibly useful. We'll have to maintain our naval offensives because if you know one thing they've got they're going to have a decent navy somewhere let's get cracking we're going to attack this city as normal gun is engaged hey this is an unbloodied force bulk of our troops are going to be on the left. My melee troops are going to be on the right. Heavy cavalry on the left. General in the centre. Okay, they've deployed slightly differently to that. So let's get our troops deployed, bearing that in mind. Probably try and be a bit more liberal. My guns are electing not to fire, which isn't the end of the world. I don't think their guns can hit anything, which is my... Yeah, their guns are sat in the town. They can't hit anything, which is why my artillery isn't doing anything. Because they... We don't have a good field of fire. Let's run into positions, get my general bodyguard over onto this flank. And when we get free... Use some of my artillery to actually damage enemy troops. And these are only militia units. Uh, here come some of their reinforcements. They are likely to break and run. 
after a few concentrated volleys of musketry. Who are you waiting for? Okay, there we go. Volley fire present. Get my cavalry in there. Retarget these units, but yeah, get my cavalry in there just to shatter them. Grim mercenaries. Human advance up the field. Human advance up to the other side of this house. Let's probably keep our cavalry back. Ultimately, it could be useful to just limber up my artillery, but just keep engaging the troops that you can. We've still got enemies ahead of us that we can engage. So, my Kizobashi reload. Also, militia. I'll get engaged them with my Gurkhas. It looks like they've taken some friendly fire damage. Well, not friendly fire, but accidental damage, I suppose. You will be able to engage the head of the provincial column. Push my Gurkhas and Hindu warriors up the flank. The provincial line infantry is a good target for my guns. First light horse are coming in against my Kizobashi cavalry. My Kizobashi musketeers, that is. Okay, they're electing not to push. Gurk is engaged in militia. You men playing Hindu warriors advance. Battle has been joined. Counter charge. My Hindu musketeers continue to reload. My Gurk is going to slice their way through the provincial militia. Holy Jesus. Get the Sipahi onto this flank, it's not doing any good there. Pull the dervishes back. Musketeers reform the line. Gunners engage new targets. Significant enemy concentration here. That's what I was afraid of happening. A Gurk is being mown down by enemy cavalry. Fortunately, though, it's provincial, so now we've got into a dragged out engagement. We have the advantage. You guys are doing okay. The General's bodyguard is behind our lines. There you go, my Gurkhas are winning against the Provincial Cavalry. Enemy General has been defeated. Whether or not he will be killed is another question. Both of these guns can engage that militia column. My Indian Cavalry Guards charge the infantry on the flank. Push my melee troops into the flank. 
hit the 79th. First light horse are engaging. Hit them so we can push our flanks up. But to be honest though, our centre's doing pretty darn awesome. You keep attacking the line infantry there. You men engage the provincial horse that's coming back. Advance our line. Pouring fire into the flank of these mercenaries. Yeah, they're broken. You've shattered the provincial line, so withdraw. Poor armed citizenry unit's not going to be in such great shape. Reform our line. Excellent, enemy cavalry's been defeated. So my right gun team engage the citizenry, you men engage garrison line to the front, you men engage that unit of Hessian Jaeger, you men engage something back here, my cavalry chase down those Hessian Jaeger. So this is some of the reinforcements coming in. up aggressively. Oh yeah, my cavalry's cut all on those skirmishes a new one. Charge the armed citizenry with my infantry guards in as support. Four guns is becoming quite it's quite important for an army like this. It's the Hessian Jaeger, they're gonna stand off out of range, so keep the attack going. All of you can engage this provincial cav unit. Look at all that cannon fire. They may even break. They did. Focus your fire on the 45th. Contingent. Okay, don't get. Let's not get ahead of ourselves. The enemy. That's still a threat. We've just done a huge amount of damage to them in ways they cannot easily rectify. Killed their general. Let's not get ahead of ourselves. That's how we get caught out. Although, to be fair, we're doing pretty dope. Push our melee troops into the town. Such a G 
just after I said, let's not get ahead of ourselves, here I am going, yeah, screw it. Everyone get in there. Come some enemy provincial horse. Engage. Immediately stop their charge when their easy target got into square formation, which makes sense. Heavy cavalry is going to do a real number on them. So they're dropping stakes ready for a defensive engagement. But we're not going to let them have any defensive engagement. At least not in the way that they would like. Neiman advance. Keep my cavalry pushing up come on now it's time for people to start running heavy cavalry take out their gorillas yeah, they're firing some volleys got some conscripts and here are their gunners I mean, swordsmen are going to outflank them, though. And with bodyguard, look like they want to catch us off. Catch us on the hop. Not go too much further. If we can break the mercenaries, that'd be great. But there's spikes here, so... Probably want to... Come back that way. Engage the militia. So you men all chase down the militia, their general's bodyguard, and that's their just a member of staff. Right. Let's chase down those conscripts with my heavy cavalry. Then all of you guys commit to this engagement here as well. Such slaughter. Enemy grenadiers, how pretty. My grenadiers, my cavalry like the sign of grenadiers. Suddenly they go, oh no, there's people behind us. You were firing shrapnel shot, which bully for you. I'm afraid it will not last. They're going to fire by rank into us, but we're charging to their front. We've got heavy cavalry charging into the rear. Swarm, swarm, attack the Pan and Alpha. My Royal Indian Cavalry Guard's gonna smack in the back of that militia unit. It's militia unit that's holding off two units of melee troops. They will carve their way through eventually, but soon. Sooner rather than later now. Huzzah! So this force that was previously unbloodied has now been bloodied. And there you go, everyone charged that unit of conscripts that decided to come back. Apart from that though, that's quite a conclusive victory for us.
So Naples has been secured without causing too much damage to our reinforcing army. Actually, without any damage to our reinforcing army. That's a victory you want to repeat. Can't build fortifications first turn, it would appear. The new champs move up to provide that forward protection. Upgrade the roads. So, let's repair the vineyard. Let's repair... We've got two theatres and this one's already broken, so I'm going to destroy it to replace it with a madrasa. We don't need both of these as dry docks. We've got a good amount of manufacturing or production. Naval production in the east. Let's upgrade you to a pleasure garden. Don't spend anything here yet, because that's just going to get raided. But still, that was a very positive first engagement. And this force has now experienced its first actual engagement. I don't believe... I believe this unit was fairly green. Just like you. Yeah, your force, however, you're pretty darn... pretty darn solid. Awesome. So let's send the Zhebek up to here, Ravina. If it gets attacked and destroyed, then it does. Well, okay, we're blockading their port. Attack Chiogia, Chiogia. And get back into port. Make sure you're still recruiting your Zhebeks. Because then that's both of these on this coast raided and damaged. Good, so they're Mediterranean. Income has been severely damaged. But yeah, there's plenty more armies <laughs> where that came from. Right, okay, cool. Is there anything else economy-wise I can spend money on? 2,000, I want to spend it. Although, to be honest, it looks like we are largely all spent up until we get more advanced industry technology. I mean, we've got steam engine, but when we get iron power loom, it seems to be fabric, fabric industry that's our main earner in India. It should still be pretty good. Let's hit end turn. More of our men are pushing up. More of our fleets are standing up, ready for further trade opportunities let's see if yeah there we go here come this is what i was concerned about we're not concerned about just needed to be ready for because yeah this is why i wanted um supply convoys to be coming from the middle east although they've left rome under the protection of one army I, with the good infrastructure, they may get increased coverage. But at least with Rome, we could generate new armies in theatre, rather than having to ship them in. Eventually, I need to, I need to put my own fleet there, just to block it off from the... Uh, uh, the Barbary State's going to attack our little Jebek. They got pushed out of the port. Go on and see how many of them you kill. Yeah, we took two of theirs. But this is why the Jebeks exist. It's, to, it's for little raiding operations like that. I'm overly concerned about... God, they... Yeah, they, did, they really did run away. We could have run to the eastern Mediterranean, but why do that when we can just run up to the North Atlantic? That makes a lot more sense. That's how terrified we are. Because, yeah, look, recruitment, bowmen, and the levy. Even if I recruit the NIST governor's barracks, it's still not any good. So I may as well destroy it and build a civil building. Because at least I can get better tax income. Upgrade both of you guys to ports. Upgrade the town to a madrasa. Good. So at the very least, as I fortify, I can build an army whose job it is just to resist 
don't know why I moved you out. I can build an army whose sole focus is to resist attacks against fortifications. See, that sometimes happens when you order things around, stuff gets a bit jumbled up. I'm pretty sure Israeli are, are roughly roughly equivalent to our actually they're just better they're just better than Hindu musketeers even at zero zero um, experience compared to two well maybe we ought to do a bit of that free up space to get some in because they all they, they can also form square and all this good stuff Northern guns are here, so this full army. Let's upgrade them to a steam dried arc. Let's bring both these four threats because we'll have to. Good, let's disembark the army. A bit of reduced movement because of the lack of the ability. But well, we can't move the guns as readily. If you put Rome under siege, it is just the one army. So if I move you guys in support, push you guys up to here, maybe a bit closer to Naples. Good. So that potentially... Ugh. Do we attack? Do we attack Rome or do we withstand? Not so sure at the moment. I mean, your mortars are cool, but eh. They're just unpredictable and not, not super useful. Hmm. Either way probably going to want to keep these columns going. So let's take all these fourth rates back. There we go. It's got a pretty, pretty good fleet here. So you're going to... Could attack the Papri States, but there's no point. Let's block off the... Adriatic. Yeah, they keep keep on re keep, keep on recruiting. To be honest, a handful of Jebex could keep that shut, but it needs to be quite a good fleet to not get overly impacted in case they get swamped. Because the challenge is that if you have units kind of stuck out like that, it's really quite tempting for the AI to just say, "Actually, you're pretty weak there. We're going to eat. We're going to come out there and take you out." Whereas if you spend, well, if you wait, and save your money, yeah, you're on station to replace this fella. But if you wait, save your money, and build an actual big fleet, then they don't come out to challenge you at all. you will be needed somewhere eventually if i push up here i'll have a front line with prussia and then it'll all really kick off yes, sir. now you're going to sit inside here the other one has to go into there You're recruiting, you were going to Ahmedabad. You were going to Calcutta. This is just a bit of... just makes sense. Now you were going to him. Although it's, it's a bit silly to, keep, to recruit all these separate generals and 
divvy it up like that, I may as well just... Okay, let's go for Goa as well. Pretty much all my coastal towns just need some form of protection. That isn't my navy. Well, not just my navy, at least. Okay, you can get Kizobashi unit to keep your recruitment queue full. You need actual infantry as well. Whoa! Oh no, okay. Actually, that's okay. Okay, we're running out of money. 95,000 next turn. See, we're managing to blow through it. Um, I think I'm going to keep Rome under siege to try and trick them just a little bit more. It does depend on what these guys do, because they may actually counterattack us, and this becomes quite a significant do-or-die action. Which would actually be pretty fun. Path blocked. Your path isn't blocked. You're going to raid the port. Make sure you guys are fully replenished, which you aren't, but I actually don't have the money to do anything about it anyway. Infiltrate Tripoli. Because why not? A lot of militia. I mean, pushing across this front can be quite slow. We're not bothered about blitzing across North Africa. Okay, let's hit end turn. My agents are on the way. Yeah, we're going to get pushed out of a lot of our towns. But let's see where they mass. Ooh, we might be getting attacked. I wonder where. Ah. Okay, let's see what you got. Ooh. Heavy first rate. Heavy first rate. First rate ship of the line. Then a bunch of smaller stuff. We killed an enemy ship, though. Oh, no, they killed one. They killed our ship. Where, depending on where you stay, we may go out and get after you with our navy. Okay, yeah. They, they're responding. Ooh, yes, this is going to be pretty cool. We're going to have to fight quite defensively here. Just keep pushing them back. Use our massed artillery to do, to do the damage. But looking at the timer, I believe that's time to end the episode. So, thanks for watching, guys. Hope you've enjoyed. And we'll see you next time for quite an interesting battle uh, against the uh, United Provinces. See you later, everyone.